chilling tales for dark nights. Want to make sure you never miss a Chilling Tales for Dark Nights video again? Be sure to subscribe and hit that bell to turn on notifications. Man, it feel good to be out. Man, I've been caged in there with them animals. You gotta stay watching your back. Can't even eat a meal without worrying about somebody, you know, walking back, gonna bust your head open. Man, I guess I was one of the lucky ones, man. You know, I made it 15 years without even having to fight one time. When it got close to my time to get out, I'm talking about everybody was happy for me, man. Even the them, them Aryans and the Gualas, man, they congratulated me, you know, just for making it out. The guards treated me less like a criminal around the end, more like a human. You know, some even offered advice on what to do after I get out. You know, I heard from the others how hard it is to adjust to life on the outside. And all that time, you know, it just shapes and it messes with your mind so much that you can barely unlearn the system. But I think my mind's solid, though. I didn't cry and complain like a lot of the other cons. You know, I always kept it cool. But I ain't gonna lie. What really made it easy with my baby. She held me down for real, man. I'm talking about, you know, usually once you go in for that long, you lose your chick. But she held me down, though. And I know I got to make up for it, man. I got to take care of her. Can't wait to get started on this little work program I got selected for. I'm just really trying to, you know, contribute to society in a positive way. I had a few dollars, and they gave me some decent clothes, so... I hope I can make a good impression. It's a real, you know, holiday miracle, man. I can't believe I'm free. And I know I look different, man. I'm, a, you know, a lot older than when I, you know, went in. I look a lot older than I really am, but she ain't gonna care. If she loved me when I was locked down, I know she'll love me when I'm free. And I waited on the bus, and my heart was just pounding, man. It's been so long since I... Just been around people that ain't locked up, man. I was more nervous than any time I was in the joint, man. I couldn't wait to see her, man. She told me she was going to throw down in the kitchen. It been so long since I ate a real meal, boy, because that jail food, that just ain't no joke, man. The bus pulled up, and I got on. And, you know, I got ready to put my money in, but the driver, he stopped me. He said... Paid your price already. Go and get you a good old seat. Man, it felt good when somebody give me a little favor, man. You know, but I, I just know everything different now. My past is behind me. He talked to me the whole ride, man, but you know, I, I, I can't remember what he, you know, what he said, cause all I was thinking about was my boo. When I got off, you know, he fist bumped me in. He asked me to pray with him. So, you know, I said, cool, man. He said, Lord, this brother right here done paid his debt to society. And now he ready to live a good life. Please watch over him, Father. In Jesus' name, amen. I had seen guys pray on the inside, but, you know, never out loud. And I felt a real warm feeling inside. I got off the bus and I got on the train. And you know, I, I, I just wanted to cry, man, but my my toughness wouldn't let me. Man, that prayer felt so good, man. I spent the train ride just, just watching people and studying the changes in society. You know, we get to watch movies and, and them reality shows, but they wasn't real compared to what I was seeing out here. The TV made it seem like we was all rich and cheating on our partners like our problems went from not having anything to eat to which woman am I going to take out to eat today maybe in certain parts of town things were different but I'm in the streets it was all the same only difference was front was replaced with no cap 
<laughs> I really don't get that one. I still had one more bus to get on. And it was starting to get dark now. The blocks was, you know, starting to turn up a little bit. The hood was still the same, man. Just, just less smiles than back in the day. <laughs> but I smiled, though, man. I smiled from ear to ear. Oh, I can't wait to see my boo, man. You know, maybe I can get some money together, man. I get her a little ring or something. I know she'll like that. There was this old woman on the bus with me. And she just kept staring at me and smiling. You know, I eventually went on and said hi to her. And she just got so excited, man. She said, you know, you ready for the new year, sweet baby? I can see you're a good person. This going to be such a good year for you. Felt good to hear so much love, man. Like, I really wasn't used to it from strangers, but, man, it felt good. She continued, I know you done made mistakes, but that don't mean nothing. You don't got to live in the past, sweet baby. Just let it go. I know you got a lady that love you, and she gonna stick by you. Just follow the Lord, and you're going to be okay, baby. She got up and pulled the string and got off the bus. Conversations like that don't happen for no reason. One thing I realized in my life is, look, kids just came from God, and the old folks fixing to go see him soon. So sometimes they see things the rest of us don't. So I listen up whenever they talk. I got off the bus and I started walking to the house. The mailboxes were counting down my arrival. I rehearsed my conversation with her in my head. Baby, I'm sorry. I let you down so long ago and I used to be less than human, I know. I can't make up the years I destroyed, but please, baby, I would do, you know, I would do my best. I can just to make sure the future is better. The house was in a cul-de-sac. There was a group of kids playing basketball. They had a full court set up going. They was having a real good time, man. You know, it felt good to see that the hood could still enjoy itself here now and then. But I looked past them to my lady house. And there she was. She stood on the porch talking to some people. It seemed like some kind of block party or something going on. And she was so beautiful, man. And her house was nice. You know, I wanted to go over, but, you know, I thought about the embarrassment. Like, man, what was I going to say? Uh, hey, boo, it's me. Then everybody else going to be like, who that? Then I got to say, oh, yeah, uh, I just got out of you know? only did 15 years, G. While I contemplated what I was going to do, man, I seen a brand new Escalade pull up. Everybody stopped what they was doing, and they just cleared the path and gave their full attention to the truck. Everybody rushed to shake the driver's hand. He stopped the truck in the middle of the cul-de-sac and got out. Someone passed him a basketball, and he shot a sky hook from half court all net. I'm talking about this guy was like the black American dream, man. After the shot, he got back in the car, and he pulled up in my lady driveway. He got out the car and greeted everybody. When he got to my future wife, man, he walked up to her and, and kissed her. And not like a peck on the cheek, but a full-blown kiss on the lips. And she held on to him like he was God. And I felt so stupid, man. Why would she wait on me? I'm a dirty freaking convict, man. I almost spent half my life in a cage. And I think I got a chance with any woman. Any woman. I can't be so stupid, man. I just felt my heart tearing too, man. <sighs> man, I couldn't help but to just, just grab my chest, man. And then I got chucked on my own spit. <coughs> And I just leaned over and, <laughs> and was coughing and, and gagging. 
man. <coughs> no, nah, oh man, I hope ain't nobody looking at me, man. <coughs> Once I finally got my composure, I walked to the yard. Man, you know, nobody noticed me. They so busy enjoying themselves. And you know, as I got closer, I got a better look at my heartbreaker. Just being so close to her had me in a daze, man. You know, I, I, and I ain't hear the kids yelling to me, look out, before the basketball bashed me in the head. Oh, oh, oh. I hollered and fell to the ground. I thought somebody was attacking me, man. Prison had me so jumpy. So everybody laughed at me, man. I mean, everybody. It was even a little baby outside in the stroller just rolling, laughing at me, man. I was the most embarrassed I ever been in my whole life. <laughs> oh, my goodness, man. This didn't make no sense, man. Oh, man. Oh, then the icing on the cake was her lover. Man, he joined me so bad, I felt like I was finna cry. Bob, what's wrong with you, boy? You on drugs or something? <laughs> Look out below, Faye, boy. You know that ain't hurt you with that big old bus head you got, boy. Somebody go pick her up, man. Act like he just got out the pen or something, boy. Boy, you look beat down, boy. Look like somebody, uncle and the nephew at the same time, boy. Man, I, I, I got up and I dusted myself off and I took a long look at my woman. She was hitting him on the arm trying to get him to stop. But he was still running his big old mouth. Man, I don't care if he get mad, bro. He need to get mad to whoever cut his hair. That boy got a George Jefferson in the front, little baby in the back. He need to get mad at whoever showed him the Velcro shoes. <laughs> boy, you got on them orthopedic South African cicada squishers, boy. Why them some earthquake starters, boy? Them some bumblebee kickers. Man, I, I, I took off running like DJ Pooh and Friday, man. Like Debo just took my chain, man. I ain't never felt so bad in my life. Well, no way I go to her now. Man, I cried like a baby, man. My feeling was so hurt, man. Oh, I found me a quiet place in the park, and I stopped and I cried. I'm talking about I cried 15 years worth of tears, man. Everything I've been holding in all came out at once, man. I ain't never cried during the whole bit. And I guess my love for her just, you know, helped me keep it together, man. And, you know, the promise that, that she would wait for me, man. And we start a family that held me together. But now, all that was out the window. Hated her, man. More than anybody or anything. My memories of her one in beautiful color no more. Now they was gray and ugly. How could you lie to somebody like that, man? For 15 years. She owed me an explanation, man. You can't just break somebody's heart like that. I don't even know why I slept that night. What if I even slept at all? I replayed the whole situation in my head over and over. And I sat near the corner store the next day just watching people go, you know, go about their day. And all of a sudden, I felt the ground shaking. Everybody started looking around and getting excited. It was that dang escalator kid. I watched him get out and jump in the conversation the other guys was having. They was talking about basketball. Man, LeBron for to be the best leg of all time, bro. Boy, Kobe ten times better than LeBron. Why you tripping, boy? What? Boy, somebody just slaps the system to their hating old boy here, man. Yeah, okay. I got a fear for whoever slapped me. You slapped me, boy. <laughs> slap me. What, boy? Boy, what, boy? I slapped you, boy. I get somebody to slap me, boy. Yeah, okay. Time back, boy. I waited till he left. And then I went to go search inside his car. Lucky for me, he ain't locked the door. I searched for anything I could find to use against him. And then I found a gun up under the seat. I grabbed it and hid in the back seat. I waited till he got in the car and waited till he pulled off. I took my time picking when I should strike, right? He got to a red light, man, and I jumped up and put the gun to his temple. I told him, keep driving. You do anything stupid, and I won't hesitate to blow your head smooth off. If you were gonna shoot me, bro, you would've shot me already. You know you talk too much, bro. I'm getting real tired of your mouth. I'm busting him in the mouth with the gun. Ugh. Say something else. 
That's what I thought, man. You know, me and you got real problems, bro. Real serious problems. And they ain't gonna get fixed until you leave town. Man, who is you? Sneaking in my car like you in the movie or something, boy. This ain't no game, bro. Psh, come on, I pistol whipped him again. Next time, I'm gonna put a bullet in you and say something else. Now, you gonna leave my girl. I don't care how you do it. Pack your stuff. And you gonna, uh, you, know, you go pack hers. It really don't matter to me, man. He had a confused look on his face. Why? I know you must be off of my bro. Get out of my truck, man. Just then, a police car pulled up next to us, and he looked over as the cop looked at us. Remember what I said, and I'm keeping your gun, punk. I jumped from the truck and ran into the shadows. I could hear him yelling to the cops about me, but I was moving too fast for him to catch me. After a few days passed, I snuck into the neighborhood one night, and I realized the truck was still there. So, you know, this, this guy think I'm playing with him. I snuck into the trees in the backyard, and I watched every window, just, you know, just waiting to see us. So it felt like I was waiting all night. I just wanted to see, you know, just see a shadow on one of the curtains. Finally, I saw a light come on. The glass was, bur you know, blurry like it was a, like a bathroom window. Then the window lifted, and I could see her fingertips. It was so pretty, so perfect, man. I would give anything for them just to touch my skin. But why would she want a dirty convict like me? I could hear the shower running, and I could see the steam coming out the window. I fantasized about her, and tears came to my eyes again. Tonight, I will sneak into the house, and I'm going to take my woman back. And I will kill that no-good thief if he get up in my way. Once all the lights went out, I waited like 30 minutes, and I looked for a way in. I broke a basement window using the old trick I learned up in the chain gang and reached through and unlocked it. I stumbled through the basement and, you know, but I eventually found my way upstairs. I heard water running in the kitchen, so I grabbed my pistol. I peeked to see who it was. It was a kid, man, a boy. He looked like he about, you know, 15, 16 years old. I stared at him from the dark. Bet you that's my son. Man, he looked just like me. She really kept him a, a secret from me all these years? Man, it's too much, man. I followed him to his room, and I stood looking over him. Just watching him lay on the bed, you know, on his phone. I would have to take him with me, too. I continued to sneak around till I found the master bedroom. I saw her laying next to that punk thug, man. She was so beautiful, though. Oh, man, I had to come up with a plan to get my baby back. I went into the boy's room. You know, he was asleep now. I snuck to the bed and drew my pistol, and I covered his mouth with my hand. He jumped, but he stopped when he realized I had a gun. Come on, son. I mean, real daddy. I'm guessing your mama never told me, you know, told you about me, I mean. But that's okay. I love you already, boy. We made our way down the hall and into my woman's room. I kicked the door open to surprise him. And they popped up and looked at me with nothing but fear in their eyes. Matt! Man, what you doing in my house, man? Man, you got all the five seconds to get out of here. Baby, get your stuff so we can get up out of here. You safe now. This is so gangster, man. You ain't go He ain't gonna hurt you no more, baby. I'm real G up in here. Get your stuff and let's go. Man, do you know this old broke down bun, baby? This the one that snuck in the car with me. Man, tell him who I am. He act like he don't know. 
Tell him whose son this is. She looked down and I could see a tear to fall to the floor. She finally looked up and said, We were together until he went to prison. That's been like 15 years ago. I haven't seen him in so long. Man, don't play dumb. Now, I told you you were safe now. As a matter of fact, we gonna stay in the house. So, uh, homeboy, you can go ahead and get up out of here, man. Boy, it's over with for you now. So he charged me, and I stepped to the side and hit him with that quick blink, blink. Then he popped me upside the head, and I dropped the gun. So now we on the floor, man. We fighting for the gun. Then the boy jumped in to help, and I finally got the gun, and I knocked them both back. Yeah, that fake family still a gangster jumped in front of the family like he shielded them or something. So I shot him. He fell to the ground, you know, holding. I think he was dead right off that first shot. So they screaming and, you know, now they crying. I told her, why you ain't tell me I had a son? Now all these years, you just hid that from me? So then she come and say, I'm sorry, Big Daddy. I let you down. Please forgive me. I said, don't worry, baby. You know Big Daddy don't stay mad at his woman for long. Now let's tie this punk up and get rid of him. I sat the gun down, and I turned over the old boy. Next thing I know, I felt the worst pain I ever felt across my knee. I looked up and realized my Barry, Barry Bonds did my knee, man. I fell to the ground screaming. Ah, she cocked back and she swung again. I had my hand in the way and that back, she had all oh, smashed me right across my knuckles, man. Baby, what you, what's wrong? What you, what you doing this to me for? Man, you, you promised me that we were going to be together, you know, once I got up out of here, man. And now you're going to beat the brakes up off of me with a back? Oh, what's wrong with you? Then she cocked back and hit me again, boy. Oh, my goodness. Why did you go to jail in the first place? Did you forget that? Was it because you pimped me out? Man, she brought that bat down across my head this time. And everything went blurry. You remember, you took me in and you promised me the world. You told me I was beautiful, but you made me so ugly. Then you get the hint when I never visit you. I never called you. I never wrote you. You so evil. You couldn't just do your time and change. Whoa, 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 wait, 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 baby. Don't hit, don't hit me again, please, please. Don't hit me. Look, look, look I, I, I promise you I changed. You know, I, I know I didn't lie to you and, and to myself, but, but baby, I'm, I'm changed. Please, you know, we can work this out. We can still work this out. You know, just... Just, just help me get up, and we can get him up out of here, and, and we can stay here till I figure out what we're going to do in the long run. I remember you told me people never changed back when I was a teenager. But I changed, little daddy. I won't fall for your lies again. I used the little strength I had to jump up at her, but the boy tackled me to the floor. I grabbed him and raised my fist to bust his jaw. But that bat landed on the back of my head. I fell down shaking. And I looked up to her and watched the bat come up and down over and over again. After a while, I stopped feeling the pain. But she would always feel it.